Hi, I'm Tom. This is Joe with SmartVent. We're going to go through the uh, features, benefits, and the installation of an insulated 1540-520 flood vent. This is a 16-inch wide by 8-inch tall flood vent. All of our vents you'll see are 3 inches in depth. This particular vent is uh, constructed out of 316 marine grade stainless steel. So it's going to hold up to those really, really harsh environments. It's got that insulated core, is rated at a 8.34 R value. So it's going to keep it nice uh, and insulated. And there's a weather gasket on the inside of the vent frame. All right, that's going to keep all your bugs and insects out and still allow the vent to operate to relieve the flood pressure from the foundation wall. Ideal application is going to be utilized in a garage, a full height enclosure, any little foyer, encapsulated crawl spaces that you're conditioning. This is the particular vent you're going to use. It's certified to cover 200 square foot of enclosed space. So if you had a thousand square foot space, you divide by 200, it's going to tell you you need five flood vents placed around the foundation to comply to FEMA and the building code. So I'm going to turn it over to Joe right now and he's going to show you how to install this 1540 520. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure your rough opening is 16 and a quarter by 8 and a quarter. Next, what you're going to want to do is remove the vent from the box. And you'll see right on top, you'll have our installation instructions, our ICC certification, as well as our information on extended 15-year warranty. Next, you're going to want to remove the vent from the packaging and remove the door from the frame. You're going to want to take your frame and flip it upside down. Right below the vent itself, you'll have your installation clips. Now, these clips are designed to hold the vent into place so that your adhesive can cure correctly. The good thing with these spring clips is you can adjust them. So if you have an opening that's a little bit bigger than 16 and a quarter by 8 and a quarter, you can expand them out. If it's a little bit smaller, you can contract them. What you're going to want to do is take your clips. There's two locations on the bottom of the frame, two locations on the top of the frame. You're going to pop your clip into the frame. Next, you're going to want to take your Hurry Bond adhesive and caulk and apply a thin bead along the flange on the inside. Next, you're going to want to make sure your tag is on the bottom part of the frame. You then insert the bottom part of the frame first and allow the vent frame to pop into place. Now you're going to wait about 15 to 20 minutes to allow this to tack. Once that's complete, you're going to take your vent door itself and pop it into that frame. Once you have it in there, you're going to want to take your security clips and a pair of needle nose pliers and insert the security clip into the frame itself. Now what these clips do is they prevent the door from popping out and floating away in a high velocity flood. Once you have both clips installed, you're all set and that's how you install a 1540-520.